All right. Well, let's move us through to our main billing tonight. We've got Andrew Carter uh, waiting patiently in the in the wings there. And uh, he's going to talk to us about some of the AI tools that are going to help to accelerate uh, your authority and your position in the uh, marketplace tonight. So those of you that don't know Andrew, I know some of you on the call here will know Andrew and have met him before. Uh, but for those that don't, uh, he started out life as a commercial pilot. Uh, he is a uh, business owner. He is, uh, and he's, he's actually had some interesting forays into uh, business as well, um, including setting up a, an interesting uh, one-of-a-kind aviation museum in Australia. And in fact, he does travel over the world uh, collecting aeroplanes uh, from uh, various places. I know he's been in New Zealand. He, he froze himself uh, in New Zealand. Uh, I think he took an aeroplane over that way for a show. And but he's, but he's uh, been part of all that too. And that was, I think that's where his book book writing journey started from as well too, from a little book there that he had there. But he is the, he is, he's, he's also run another successful business by doing things that other people are not doing in business in terms of marketing. So he, he did some quite innovative things there. He's, and he wrote a book called uh, Rhino Marketing or Rhino Business, I guess. I probably got that wrong. He'll tell you what the right one is. Uh, and he also helps and works with entrepreneurs and business owners to bring their knowledge to the marketplace to, to become the authority in the industry. Um, and uh, he's got a whole process in around that also. So tonight he's here to talk to us about how to unleash the power of AI and uh, transform your business and uh, you know some of the tools that are available. So I'd like you to put your hands together and welcome to the screen, Andrew Carter. Thank you, Nick. Thanks, everyone. Hello. Yep. I am here to show you the number one single best lead generation tool for your business, bar none. And this is going to have you stand out so completely and transform your business so completely from and create massive growth in it more than any other strategy out there. Now, it doesn't matter what industry you're in. It doesn't matter what business you're in. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you're a bricks and mortar and sort of service and goods or if you're purely online, even if you're just an online influencer, this will work for you. It is the single most important strategy you can implement in your business. And I know that sounds like a big claim. I'm sure others you've heard others make similar claims, but um, you'll find out during this webinar that this claim is true and completely verifiable, okay? So as Nick alluded to, I've had a very extensive business background before doing what I do now. And I can state categorically that out of all of the strategies as a marketer, all of the things I've learned and shared, the businesses I've helped as a coach, the things I've seen with the businesses I've grown, this is undoubtedly the number one strategy that works better than anything else. And that's why I'm so excited to be sharing this with you tonight. And as Nick said, there's quite a few, few familiar faces on this, a few people that I've worked with before. Um, some of you on previous call may have heard some of this content before, but the difference today is we're going to be concentrating heavily on the use of AI to create content for you quickly and easily. And the whole point is we're not going to cover a whole different ranges of AI programs. We're not going to go into a whole lot of depth. I think simple done well is the best way to go about it. The problem at the moment is there are so many claims about what AI can do, and most of it is grossly exaggerated at best. Okay, chat GPT or chat AI as it's known is the one you're probably all familiar with. And it's being sprouted as the answer to all of your problems. And it just isn't. All right. There are some real limitations around using AI, and I'm going to cover some of those. But if you know what they are and what to do about it, you can use it to create content, excellent content really quickly. Uh, just let you know, there's no big sales pitch at the end of this, but I have a limited time to cover a lot of information. So I will be talking about an event I'm running for those of people who want to come along and learn more. Now, as I say, there's a hell of a lot of content I've got to get through. We're in tight time constraints. So I'm going to move through this quickly. So if you have any questions, just please put them in the chat box and I'll answer them in uh, detail at the end or just write them down and raise them at the end. I'm sure we'll have time. So I'll just share my screen here. and. Wrong one. Sorry, people. Here we go. We're already off to a magnificent start. Um, that looks better. Can everyone see my screen? That's the first thing. Can indeed. Yes. Okay. 
All right. So the marketing strategy and tool that I'm going to be discussing that every business needs, but but so few businesses will ever actually do, is very well used and proven by all of the greats, all of the masters you can think of. I mean, I've got the examples I've got here are Tony Robbins, Russell Brunson, Robert Kiyosaki, but there's just so many others. This has been used successfully by all of them to position them, and it's now being used by thousands of regular business owners just like you. It works for all of them, and I'm going to cover some examples in this so you can see that it'll work for you also. So I want you to think about it. What is it that made those guys the go-to expert or authority? Because to be seen as the authority, believe it or not, the answer is contained in the word. First, they had to become an author. Now, <laughs> I hope I haven't lost anyone just yet. Oh, please stay with me. I know this isn't what you've joined for. You're thinking, hang on, I'm not going to write a book. I don't have the time. It's way too hard. Uh, I'm purely an online business. This can't help me. I can assure you this can be done quickly and simply and without even having to type or write. We're going to be talking about the use of AI for this. And it's not chat GPT, as you may be thinking. But this authority, this is this gaining the authority this way, it's the single greatest strategy to gain people's attention, build trust and credibility, and drive them to your website. And that's what I'm going to explain to you tonight. And I want to cover here now why a book is so powerful for you and your business, and it's all to do with people's perception. You see, the perception in society is that people have to become experts, however that is, and then after a long period of time, they're able to write a book about that. But that's just not the case. All the experts I've ever dealt with wrote the book first based on what they knew and was then perceived as the expert as a result of that, attracted a huge following because of the book, and then they created the products and services they sell. Think about that. That's the reverse of the you know, normal way of thinking. It's really important to establish yourself as an expert in your industry. You need to be seen as the authority, all right? Why? Well, when people perceive you as a go-to authority or expert in a certain field, they actively pursue you to per think about that. They actively pursue you. You've changed, you've reversed the dynamic. You're not chasing them. They're now chasing you to purchase your products, services, and advice, and in fact, will pay more for it. And you know this to be true. You've done it yourself. Okay. Being successful in business relies on being able to sell. And to do that, you only need to do two things. Both of which are bloody difficult these days. You've got to be able to gain attention, okay? You've got to let them know you exist and you've got to let them know what you're selling. And far too many people just think that by setting up a website or placing an ad or posting on social media, they're going to capture people's attention and make lots of sales. Now, maybe there was a time a long time ago where that was possible. However, think about it yourselves. Is it getting harder and harder to get noticed these days? Yes or no? Both online and offline, the markets are saturated. It is more difficult to get noticed now than at any other time. So if all you're going to do is post online or you know set out an ad or do some social media, all you do is become another Me Too business, another one of millions of people all doing the same thing. And as a result, you quite literally get lost in a sea of mediocrity. And that is why you don't get noticed. So you've got to do something that will really make you stand out from the crowd, something that's going to attract people's attention. Once you've got their attention, obviously, you need to build trust. People are reluctant to purchase goods or services because of a lack of trust. All of us on this call tonight have been burnt before, and none of us wish to be so again. So trust becomes the single biggest barrier to making a sale after you've gained a prospect's attention. Because all of us, we like to buy from people we trust, and building that trust can usually take a very long time, okay? The beauty of having a book is it does away with all that. The book immediately establishes your credibility and gets you attention. That's the first thing. It gets you noticed, and it is the number one builder of trust and credibility. There is simply nothing else like it. Why? Being an author ranks in the top 10% of professions in terms of prestige. Authors are held in high esteem and they're trusted, as is their message. And a large part of that comes from people believing it's difficult to write a book and be published. And it is, unless you have something like this tutorial tonight to show you the simple tips and techniques to get it done quickly and easily, even if you can't type or write. So, you know, first and foremost, authors are and always have been highly respected. Society has always looked at published authors as experts in their field, as the authority. That is the way we've been brought up to think about it. 
And when you are published, you automatically assume that mantle in your field. You don't have to state that you're an expert or you don't have to tell people you're credible. The book does that for you. The book actually acts as a third party independent advocate of you and your business. So you never have to go around saying, oh, I'm the expert, I'm the authority on this. Merely being the author on the subject, the perception is that you must be. Now, I need to make this very clear. This is all referring to a physical book, a published book, one that you hold in your hand. You can't gain any real credibility with an ebook, and you're not ever really going to get noticed, yet alone obtain the, the sort of celebrity or expert authority status with one. We, you have to have an actual printed book. Now, I'm going to stop here and elaborate on this because this is the one slide that causes the most problem because everyone will say to me, oh, Andrew, but what about such and such? And what if I know this guy's doing real with ebooks? I'm not saying ebooks don't have a place, okay? When I started all this out 15 years ago, I was dealing heavily with Andrew and Daryl Grant, which many of you are probably familiar with, and they were making half a million dollars US by selling ebooks. They had a particular technique of, a, a way of doing things, okay? Ebooks definitely have their place. Remember, this is about establishing your authority, building that trust and credibility, getting more people coming to you and buying more from you, and that has to be a physical book, all right? The next argument I get, oh, but Andrew, you know, physical books are dying. Everyone reads everything online now. No, they don't. Uh, and there's probably a lot of reasons for that, and I haven't got time to go into any of them now, but the demand for physical books has actually increased over the last decade, more than that. Since 2011, sales of books have actually increased year on year. So not only is the printed book not dead, it's actually going through a resurgence. It's almost exponential. More are being printed and read now than in any other time in history. So to give you the real rough statistics so you can get your head around it, even today in 2023, about 88% of all book sales are still physical books. Now, I'll be the first to admit the way we buy them has probably changed. They're not all being bought through bookstores anymore. A lot of it's online. But 88% of all book sales are still physical books, with only 12% being online like Kindle or Kobo type ebooks and uh, audio books. And audio books currently make up about 5% of the market. So physical books are still the biggest seller, more sell selling now more than ever before. So today we're going to talk about how to use the AI technology to create the content for one that will establish you as a go-to authority in just a few hours. And why? Well, positioning yourself as the go-to authority makes your competition effectively irrelevant. I really want you to take notice of this slide, people. If there's one thing you take away from tonight, it should be that. This is what dramatically changes your success in business. So in summary, regardless of what business you are in, you need a physical book to create your credibility and personal brand awareness and grab attention to be seen as the authority. And then you drive that traffic to your online site. And this is how you're going to make money. So let's look at how to create the uh, complete authority marketing book quickly and easily. And obviously, there are a lot of myths and misconceptions about writing a book. And a lot of you probably had a lot of concerns when I said this is what we're going to be talking about. And those concerns are based on these myths. I think it's a good thing that these myths exist, to be honest, because the general public or probably more accurately, your potential customers or clients, they think this way, right? And that's why they respect authors and perceive them to be so credible and capable because of this. So let me dispel some of the myths here as we go along and so you can get in the right mindset to create your own authority marketing book. Of course, the first myth is it takes a long time to write a book. Everyone's had that concern, and it's the single biggest reason why so few people ever even attempt this. It just seems such a daunting task. And look, everyone's busy. I get that. And as business owners, we don't have the time to sit down and write a book or you know, lock ourselves away in a cabin for six months or 12 months or whatever. I understand that, right? But here's the thing, and the reason you're on this call tonight, you don't have to write it, and you literally only need half a day to complete it. And if you're not going to give yourself half a day to completely transform your business, then you're not serious about business, okay? It doesn't take a long time to write a book anymore. We have so many tools available today, but it's important to know which ones to use and how. This is going to be the big part of what we're going to talk about tonight. If you know that, then you can complete a high-quality authority positioning book in as little as a few hours without ever having to pick up a pen or type on a keyboard. 
So, of course, we're talking about AI. No big secret. It was all in the title. Uh, artificial intelligence or robot thinking, whatever you want to talk about. Uh, it's not quite at the stage where we've got a T-800 Terminator doing the work for us. But whenever we talk about AI, especially in this space, everyone thinks about chat GPT, which is now also referred to as chat AI. Uh, chat GPT does actually have a plugin, which you can do. It's for specifically writing books. So a lot of people probably come to this call thinking, well, he's going to talk about chat GPT. I will later on, but not for writing a book. Definitely not. Do not use this. If you have the opportunity to get hold of the, the writing a book plugin for chat GPT, I'd ask you to try it because I know you'll be significantly underwhelmed by it. We're going to show you the limitations of this later on. Okay. So not using chat GPT at this stage. We are going to use another form of AI. So there's the myth. Chat GPT can do it all. Nonsense. Do not use it to write your authority book. Instead, use an audio to text transcription app. Uh, Nick, I don't know if you're going to put this in the comment section, but otter.ai, if not, everyone just scribble it down. That is the one and basically the only one. Are there other options? Yes, I'm going to talk about them now. Don't write this down. There's no point. I'll explain why at the end. What is the best transcribing program for audio, video to text? The best options are Descript, Expressscribe, Inkscribe, Otter, Rev, Sonics, Speedscriber, Temi, and Trent. They're all excellent, right? There's other ones out there, but these are all the best in the, that space at the moment. Don't write them down because the only three that are of any real interest are Otter, Temi, and Trent because they offer you a mobile application. And this is a big deal. We're going to talk about this more later. Why I'm suggesting Otter, Otter is the only one of those with a free service, so you can actually trial it and you can do what I'm going to suggest you need to do very, very shortly. The mobile application is really important. We have a lot of our authors actually have Otter on their phone. Uh, when you go to bed and you, you wake up in the middle of the night with one of those fantastic thoughts for business or for a book, what did you used to do? Well, you tell yourself you remember it in the morning and you never did. Or you'd get up, turn on the light, grab a pen, grab a pad, write it all down, and then you'd find it to take hours to try and get back to sleep. What our authors are doing is literally they've got the phone on, they just open the Otter app, they just start talking, and then they just go back to sleep. In the morning, they've got the audio recording and it's also transcribed it. So they can export that into any number of files. I just use Word doc and uh, they can then email that or they can cut and paste it and stick it in a book. So Otter is really all you're going to need. All right, so we're going to talk about writing a book. Now, it doesn't take a long time. I want you to think about what information you want to give to the reader of your book. What do you want a book to do? Ultimately, you're trying to increase your business, but you can't state that. You've got to write a book that looks like it's there to help people. And that should be the reason you're in business. Your product or service should be there to help others. So you need to let them know about that and you need to get them to take action. So that's the end of your book. The beginning is always an introduction. It always describes a little bit about you and the journey you're going to take them on. So you know the beginning of the book, you know the end of your book, now all you've got to do is simply um, work out who is your perfect target audience, who is the ideal client for you. If you know this really, really well, you can actually tailor the way your book is constructed. So not only does it attract the right people, it actually repels those who aren't. All right. Uh, what sort of clients are you trying to attract? As I say, which ones do you want to repel? Uh, once you know the beginning and the end, I just want you to take a simple piece of A4 paper and I want you to write at the top of it a, a heading, just what's one of the steps you need to get from beginning to end. And then what's the next step? And what's the next step? Write each step on the top of a fresh piece of paper. Then under that, you're going to write down bullet points because that heading has actually become a chapter title, believe it or not. And you're going to write down bullet points under it to discuss what, what you need to cover in that chapter to fully explain that chapter and be able to move on to the next chapter. Now it gets really simple. You just run your smartphone or your tablet or your computer, hit Otter AI, and you read out that heading on that page, and you now start talking to each of the points, the bullet points you've got there. You know your subject matter. This isn't a problem, and you just talk it through, and you're pretty much done. Now the point to remember here, 
is a book you don't want to exceed more than 150 pages this is quite important right i've been tracking this for a number of years now and not just nationally internationally and we know that these how-to type books this non-fiction stuff yeah uh, people's attention spans are getting smaller and smaller so if a book is more than 180 pages in this field the the sales drop right off in a fiction book which is entertainment you know you can easily make a six seven eight hundred page book and people will continue to read that but how-to type books people want the information quickly 180 you know you're going to sell far less of them if it's more than 150 pages less people finish reading your book and you really want them to finish your book because only then are they likely to recommend it to others or pass their copy on to a friend or take action if you've listed what the action is at the back of the book so the optimum is 150 pages right which works out at 30,000 words now 30,000 words at the normal rate of speech, which is about 180 words per minute, which is just a bit slower than what I'm talking at the moment, but I've got a lot to get through. You can actually speak 30,000 words in two hours and 47 minutes. And no, it's no accident that that's a picture there, someone holding a dictaphone. I'll talk about that shortly. But if you did this with Otter, at the end of that time, in less than three hours, Otter will actually be able to make a transcript of that available in different formats. As I say, I just use the word format, but it, you'll be able to export that, okay? Now you have the content for a book in less than three hours. How is this not exciting? How are people not jumping up and hit my God? This is amazing, right? All you've got to do now is go over and edit it because you want to make sure it makes sense and you didn't repeat yourself, which sometimes we tend to do, and especially if you haven't thought hard enough about what you were jotting down on that paper. Now, why I mentioned Otter in particular is the free version of Otter should let you do 30,000 words. How perfect is that? So you can effectively get this entire book done for free. It costs you nothing but a few hours of your time to have this entire book written for you in your words and in your words is the important part here that's what builds the bond that connection between author and reader that's what establishes that trust and credibility and people see you as the person they want to deal with okay very important classic example ian marsh i'm sure many of you on this already know of him or have met him or have even done courses with him he did his first book with us the inconvenient truth about business success in exactly this way uh, he was using a dictaphone it was before smartphones and uh, he literally knew exactly what client he wanted right he wanted the he wanted to sell a top end art so he wanted a book that was written to attract the sort of person who'd go and buy that so he did exactly what I said to you he completed the content in half a day without typing or writing attract a high-end client and sell them into this high price ticket item and so here's the real beauty of it. He knows exactly how many clients that book has bought him. He knows the value of each of those clients, that he knows what program they've bought into. And he told me that that book completed in half a day that he didn't type or write has generated just over $600,000 for his business. For something he produced in half a day, people, we never even touched a keyboard, all right? As I say, he used a dictaphone. I did the same thing. Nick got so close yet so far. Rhino Retailers, this, this is a 15-year-old book which still holds up today. But I was living in Sydney at the time and I was driving around. I, I got so frustrated at how much time I was spending at traffic lights and the average stop at a traffic light was in excess of two minutes. I started timing it. That's how bored I was. I could be doing up to two minutes, 45 seconds at uh, traffic lights. So I took a dictaphone and I took that piece of paper I told you about with my bullet points on it. And every time I stopped at a traffic light, I picked up the dictaphone and started recording my thoughts. Uh, I was doing about 30 minutes of recording a day. And at the end of five days, I had all the content. And I just sent it off to get transcribed. So that's how that book came about. So it definitely works. Another myth is that you have to have a university education and a degree to be taken seriously as an author, and you need to be able to write in an academic way. Please do not do that. Uh, this is one of the most frustrating things, and we see this all the time. Have any of you actually read an academic paper? <laughs> they're actually boring, right? And they're full of jargon. They're, they're usually only suitable for other academics in the same field. And we don't want that. We want to be able to cover a, a broader cross-section of people. We want to be able to capture your ideal client right so you want to write something that pretty much anyone can read and understand and to do that you want to write or in this case just talk as if you were conversing with a 15 year old 
Talk the way you talk and let your sense of humor and your personality come through because that's what the reader connects with. Another myth is you have to create the book yourself to have your name on it. Well, do you really think some of the celebrities in particular, you know, some movie stars, presidents, prime ministers and that have the time to sit and write or even dictate their memoirs? No. And I'm thinking in particular about rugby here, but have you seen some athletes who are struggling to put more than two coherent sentences together that come out with these lengthy autobiographies? I mean, that just leaves you wondering, how did they ever manage that? Well, the answer is simple, right? Those books have been ghostwritten. Ghostwriters are professional writers who uh, they interview you, they learn your story, what the desired outcome is for your book, the way you speak, the, the language you use and the sort of phrases you use. And from there, they'll go and write a complete manuscript for you. The work is then published as your own with your name as the author because the ghostwriter's name does not appear anywhere on the book. I used to promote this quite heavily and I was actually starting to work with people that I wanted to have as ghostwriters available for my authors. I've cut it out completely. Because of the method I've already taught you tonight, there's just no need to use a ghostwriter. And in fact, the ghostwriters that are out there are now recording the interview with you and just running it through Otter AI anyway, and then charging you thousands of dollars or in some cases, tens of thousands of dollars for the finished book. So there's no need to do that. I didn't know this was a myth. Every time I have these sort of talks, someone brings it up. This is one of their biggest concerns. They obviously know friends who've self-published. Uh, they've purchased a whole lot of books to get the price per book down, which is a good idea. But unless you have a way of distributing them and marketing them, marketing them you can be stuck with a whole lot of books. Uh, this is one of our authors. This is Sharon. You can see she's got a lot of books there, but she's smiling. She's not stuck with them. They're pre-sold. This is an easy way to avoid if you got know how to market your book properly. And if you have a distribution method, this is not an issue. I've just finished another book. My latest book literally went to the printers today and I've already sold 500 of those. So the book's only just gone to the printers, but I've already pre-sold 500 copies. So I don't see this one as an issue. This myth I love, books don't make any money. And you know what? That is kind of true. If you're writing a book purely to make money from the book, I'm afraid you're probably going to go broke unless you're, you know, J.R. Tolkien or whoever the wrote Harry Potter, I forgot her name. All right, J.K. Rowling. But th th those sort of ones done really well. And obviously, Robert Kiyosaki's made a lot of money from the sale of his books. But as he says, he'd be happy to give the books away. It's what he's making on the back end. That's the big deal. So books don't make any money if you're using a traditional publisher because you get such a small percentage of the sale price of the book, like 5 to 10%, okay? So it's just not really worthwhile. That's why a lot of people turn to self-publishing because they get to keep all of the profits from the book sales. However, the number of books they can sell is limited because it's highly unlikely you can get self-published books into bookstores or on some other sales platforms. You can't get a distribution agreement as a self-published author usually, okay? So that's where entrepreneurial publishing uniquely allows authors to make large amounts of money from the book before it is even printed and more money once it is published. It's an amazing model. I'm going to discuss a little bit of it now and we'll get back to more AI for, for creating other products. But this is what allows the most successful form of authority marketing and wealth creation. So let's look at some of the ways your entrepreneurial publishing can make real money from a book. And the first one is to sell advertising in your book. Now, this is a real basic strategy, right? It can make tens of thousands of dollars for little effort. The more advanced technique using AI will be covered later when we talk about the game behind the game. And so if you're writing a book of information, right, there's only so much room available. Remember I said that you're looking for 150 pages. So if you want to give your readers as much help as you can, then you owe it to them to provide avenues to get more information and assistance. So therefore, you should include a resources section in the back of your book. Now, clearly, you should be the number one resource. The first thing they see is you and your business and the products and services that will help them. That's what you put there. But you can sell other pages in the back of that book to other businesses, like uh, complementary businesses, not competitive ones, to advertise their products or services. Now, the life of a book is about five years, which is much better than any magazine or newspaper or anything else. So you can substantially increase the price of what people would normally pay for magazines or other print advertising. And realistically, we sell pages in a book anywhere from $10,000 to $15,000. 
And one of the authors who's done exactly that, you're probably all aware of, Sharon Jurd, her first book with us was How to Grow Your Business Faster Than Your Competitors. And she netted over $40,000. She was selling spots at $9,997. And after all of her expenses, that's all of her travel, hotels, as she said, big alcohol bill, after printing, after everything else, she still netted $40,000. More than that, the the people who advertised in this book, she did a second book. They all wanted to advertise in that as well. So she made the same money again. As I said to you, I've just finished my next book. It's at the printers. I sold five spots in that for a total of 40K. So it is quite easy to do. Uh, look, I won't go into great detail on this one, but this is a, a guy called Darren Stevens. He actually had, um, he interviewed 14 franchises and he said to him, look, to be covered in this book, to get all this extra exposure and everything i'll get you i'll i'll do an article on you in this book you get it'll sound like it's coming from you because effectively they're writing it and all you've got to do is i want you to pre-purchase a thousand copies and it, yeah what they could do whatever they want with those they could distribute them they could it can be used just to promote their business and so that's exactly what i did a book that was selling for thirty dollars he sold it to 14 contributors at a discounted price 9.95 they pre-ordered a thousand books there's $139,000 straight away. He approached 15 different advertisers and said, look, you can advertise in this book. All you got to do is pre-order 500 books for half price. So there's another $112,000. People, that's a total in revenue of over a quarter of a million dollars in just two weeks. Now, of course, you've got to remove the cost of the books, print the books from that. But when you do so, that's a total in profits of over 144, sorry, almost $144,000. Now, I want you to think about that. Most businesses in this country, most small businesses are struggling to make $144,000 profit in a year. This guy did it in just two weeks with a product that hasn't even been produced yet, hasn't even been printed. He didn't even write it. The 14 contributors wrote each bit. More importantly, 21,500 books were pre-sold, all right? This makes it an instant bestseller. This is what makes it easy to get a lot of free media and PR, which generates more interest in your business, which really helps position you as the expert and authority. And the bookstores want the, to sell more of your books. They're ordering in big quantities because it's already a bestseller. By definition, that means it sells a lot. They want books that are going to turn over. So this is really exciting, and this is the sort of thing we should be looking at. So just show of hands, how many of you realize that that's just a, a one-off, you know, he got lucky and we've included him to make it sound like it's all a lot easier and better than it is. Yep, all right, well, I appreciate your healthy skepticism, but no, everything I'm showing you here has been used and replicated many times with the same results, okay? This, that same author has done the same thing several times in different fields and he's made that same sort of money. I mean, to prove the point, that particular example wasn't just luck. Uh, this is one of our other authors, Pete Burden from New Zealand. And as you can see, just looking at the book, he quite literally copied that franchise model exactly, but he just did it in his home country. Now, doing the exact same thing, he generated over $120,000 in just two weeks before the book was even printed. Obviously, once it was printed, he made a lot more from there. So you can see this works each time you do it, and you can do it on many different topics. It's actually really exciting what's possible. And here's the thing. Every single one of you on this call could do it. In any industry, you could do the same sort of thing. It could be done on a collection of real estate agents or on natural health. You know, go and interview all the different health professionals, like chiros, physios, massage therapists, naturopaths, nutritionists, whatever you can think of. The, the, the number of markets you could do this in is just massive. Now, this is Conrad Bobolak. I want to talk very quickly about him because he was working for National Australia Bank when he first came to our three-day workshop and he didn't have a business. Like He had no concept of a business. He had no business name in mind, yet alone clients or premises, right? And so the game behind the game, which we're going to talk about shortly, he decided to craft a book around that. And he completed his book, which became a bestseller because that's what we do. We produce the highest number of bestsellers. He created some online content around it to attract the right client and, as I say, repel the ones he didn't want. And with this book, he's created a company from nothing which is now paying him $1 million a year. And you know what the fascinating bit about his story is? To this day, he's still never spent one single dollar on advertising his business. 
He advertises the book. He wants people to buy the book because that's what gives him the credibility and um, that's what builds the trust. And that's where people do big business with him because of that. Okay. So very important. The whole point of having the book, uh, we're going to use it to drive people to your website and sell more products or services, right? So you only have a 150 page book. And for those wanting extra information, you have that listed on your website. And on the website to get access to that additional information, they've got to put in their contact details. This is what's going to create a list of people who read your book and therefore already trust you. This is now building a list of hot buyers. These are not people that, are, that you're going to have to continually sell to and get a high rejection rate. Every time you've got a new offer, you send it to this list and you're going to have the highest conversion rate you've experienced, right? So the real wealth from a book comes from the credibility and positioning the book gives you and the other sales you make as a result of that. That's why you've got to have that list of hot clients. Yeah, I can't say much more about that other than um, if you don't have a list, I'm surprised how many businesses don't have a list. You are leaving a lot of money on the table. A business needs a list and the hotter the the clients you can get on that list, the better are you, better off you are. And this is the way to do it. All right, let's get back to AI, back-end products. Okay, so we're using the book to sell, to position you properly and to sell more of what you're already doing. But believe it or not, you can easily create other products from the content of your book and sell them to the people who have read your book and want more from you. And this is really common and something that most people don't understand. And this is where chat AI and other AI services will become your greatest asset. I know before I said, don't use chat GPT. We're not going to use it for a book, but you can use it for other tools. So in this case, it's okay. I'll talk about this in a sec. The reason I don't want you using it for a book, and I've got a little example here I want to talk to you about. Nick Cree, Nick might be able to talk to us at the end. I know that he has used it to write a book. And as he said, it's really good at producing the overall big picture stuff. Uh, for getting into detail, no good. And the big picture stuff's too generic. Remember, we're trying to be specific. We're trying to stand out. If you're just generic, you're like everybody else, okay? Now, this is, uh, some of you will know Kerry Fitzgibbon. She's the, the master of Facebook advertising. And she said that ChatGPT writes in American. It's pretty much clueless when it comes to writing something that will appeal to an Australian audience. And so she asked ChatGPT to write something a typical Australian would say. And I'm going to read to you the result. The other day I was chockers and in a bit of a flap. So I decided to duck into the bottle over a coldie to help me chillax. As I was wandering up and down the aisles trying to decide between a schooner or a slab, I saw a fellow Aussie mate who gave me a friendly g'day. We got to Yarnan and he said he was heading off to a barbie with his rellos but he wasn't sure whether to bring his sunnies and his togs or his jumper and his brolly. I told him to pack everything but the kitchen sink because you never know what kind of weather you're going to get these days. He laughed and said, fair dinkum, and we both went on our merry ways. I mean, seriously, how many Australians do you know speak like that, right? So it becomes a caricature. It's the start to a really bad comedy act. It's not how you want to be representing yourself. And this is the problem. Everyone's just using chat GPT, trying to throw something generic into it and getting a generic response back. So we're going to talk about the specifics of that. Uh, where to put my little clicker after all that? All right. So AI definitely has its place, just not the way that you may have initially thought, okay? Why we want to create back-end products is this is the model most people don't understand. This is a really simplified version of it, but the book is only the beginning of your journey, not the end, okay? The book is not the be-all and end-all or the uh, in and of itself. The book is just the beginning. What we want to do is... Once people have read your book and they've identified that you're the person they want to be dealing with, many of them are going to want more from you. So from your book, we can use AI to create courses. There's a whole lot of different courses we can create and a whole lot of different price points around that. And some of those people, or even a lot of those people who done your courses, will still want more from you. They'll want more access to you. And I suggest you run a live event. A lot of people get concerned with that. They're not comfortable speaking in front of crowds or... They understand there's expense in both time and money uh, required to set these things up, but it's the best way to reach the largest number of people in an interactive one personal environment and have the biggest impact, I reckon. 
And the beauty of it is if you video record this, you now can work down the funnel as well. By videoing it, you're now created another product. And with that product, you can break that up into an audio product, a video product, and you can have it order, order do a transcription for you and make written products out of it. And that can become more courses. So once you've got that content, you can put it into AI and it'll make extra courses for you. And those who've been to your event will still want more from you because if your book and your courses have helped them overcome a problem, then you're the solution to their problems. So some people will be prepared to pay big money to have access to you. So don't be afraid to get one-on-one -on -one coaching or small group coaching up to 10 people and charge each of them sort of $30,000. I mean, you only need 10 people working with them all once a week or once a month, and then maybe doing a teleconference with them as a group once a month. Um, and people will be paying you 30K for that. You get 10 people doing that, there's 300K. If we're using AI to create the courses, we can also get it to run a membership program. So under everything else there in our value ladder, we can have a passive income. We could have AI creating a course for us. And you know, if you're charging $97 a month and you've got 100 people on that, I mean, there's $9,700 a month passively for not doing anything. So AI definitely has its place, just not the way you may have initially thought, not the way others have tried to explain it to you. Or it's just don't use something like ChatGPT to write a book when you're trying to position yourself as a go-to authority. I've seen small ebooks written purely by ChatGPT, and generally speaking, some of them weren't too bad, but as I say, very generic in nature. And this is the easiest way to think of it. If we all put a, this is overly simplistic, but if we all were to put something into the same thing into Google, Google would all give us a very similar sort of result. And if we copied it and pasted it into a document, we'd all have something very similar. Well, AI, chat GBT kind of works that way at the moment, okay? If 100 of us all wanted typed in, we want a 30-page ebook on the best tips for, you know, the 10 best tips for marketing a business, what do you think would happen? The best tips as determined by AI are going to remain the same, aren't they? And so we'll get 100 books, all of a very similar layout, spruiking the same points, much the same way, just not using the exact same words. So that's why we don't use it for anything like that. What I'm saying to you is if you really get stuck for content ideas, chat GPT or chat AI, I should call it, it can be your friend. You can type into it that you're looking for content ideas for a particular topic. And if it comes up with some that are worth writing about, you can actually copy that and paste it back into chat AI and request that it expand on that idea. And it will start producing some meaningful text for you. However, it's still not personalized, right? So if it, if possible, depending on what that text is, if you can relate to that somehow, if you've got some experience in your business or in your life, add that to it, put your own words into it and really personalize what content that's created because that's what makes it yours and that's what's going to make you stand out and that's what the reader is going to associate with, okay? So let's talk quickly about how to use chat AI. And this is a brief overview, people. I need to stress this. If we were to do this in any detail, it really needs to be a minimum two-hour tutorial on its own, and we don't have time for that. But let me just cover the real basics so you've got an idea, okay? You need to include specific uh, prompts and instructions. And here's what the company says about that. Writing a prompt is one of the most important steps in your AI process. In order for chat AI to do its job correctly, it needs good instructions, okay? The better the instructions, the better response chat AI gives you. So we're going to start with the basics here. It requires a prompt. A prompt is a set of instructions or discussion topics you give to the AI to respond to. Now, this is the easy part, right? Because the prompt can be a question. It could be a statement. It could just be a basic command intended to, to spark a creative and engaging response or conversation. Now, the prompt has two key components, the context and the task. So this is what I'm saying. You can't just sit, if you stick something generic into AI, you're going to get something generic back. The more specific you can get this, the better. So the context is the background for the task. Now, you, you can include the perspective. You can include the personality of how you want it written or the personality you're trying to write it for, uh, you know, the audience you're writing it for. And that informs chat AI how to do something. 
The context can even be some text that you provide to the AI to use as a reference for the task. And I think that's really important. If you've all written blogs or other documentation in the same vein, along the same sort of thing you want to expand on, you can actually put that into AI and tell it you want it written in that style. So it will actually learn how you want things written. And that's the important part. And that's where AI is just in its infancy now. And it's not, it really has some severe limitations. But as it continues to learn like this, and as you get smarter at teaching it to learn your way of doing things, it's going to get a lot better at it. Now, the task is the action you want the AI to take. So that includes things like uh, summarizing text or maybe designing a, a plan solving a math problem, uh, or, or asking questions related to the text you provided. Now, I don't think I, no, I didn't get to finish. I was going to put a, a slide in here with an example, but I wrote it down. So if you were a personal trainer and say you'd played soccer at, at a high level, rather than just saying something like, oh, I'm going to train some people, I need you to create 30 exercises for me. You want to put in that context and task. You want to put in the proper prompt, right? So you would say, design a training plan for an attacking midfielder to train for five days a week. Okay, now I've given it the context and the task. Uh, sorry, that's the context. Now the task would be make 30 unique plans that are fun and engaging. Include both soccer skills and fitness training. Can you see how specific that's become now? Can you see you're going to get a very different result to the, just asking for make 30 unique training plans? This next one's not such a good example. I, I, I'll show you. If, so if you're an 11th grade history teacher, you've typed in create a 10 question quiz that tests the student's understanding of 18th century European geography. Saves you having to sit down and go through everything, and come up with it. The problem with that is it's going to go and look for all knowledge on 18th century European geography. It doesn't know what your curriculum has covered. So that could be that. I think that one's a little too broad. But the more specific you can get it, the better off you're going to be, okay? You always want to use proper grammar and spelling in your prompt, but understand it is a yank thing. It is going to come back with yank spelling. Remember, the less detail you provide, the more assumptions the AI model needs to make. And that's exactly what AI does. It does fill in the gaps with its own assumptions, okay? So providing a clear context and task Chat AI can help you produce something meaningful. All right, look, it doesn't matter whether you're online business or an offline business. Um, your book will make you stand out, gain massive credibility, grow your business exponentially, and the entire time it will be leaving you so far out of your head of your competition that they become irrelevant. Just want to quickly cover some examples here. You know, having a book can be a great way to close a deal. The ultimate closure in any meeting or negotiation no matter what, in the final close, it doesn't matter what objections people come up with. You can simply counter with, yeah, but I wrote a book on the subject. D do you know how powerful and complete a finish that is, right? We've had one author do exactly that. He was closing a very lucrative contract that was about to be awarded to a competitor. Uh, it's Greg Kasser here. You can see him. He was told that he and the other final tender had so they'd selected were very close to each other in, in price. And we're talking a multi six figure contract here, right? But when they asked Greg, why should they do business with him instead? He simply stated, look, I, I can't speak about the other company. All I can tell you is I wrote the book on this. And then he literally handed them a copy of this book and it, they awarded him the contract on the spot. Why? Because he's perceived as the expert. He authored a book. The other team, which had been stronger, didn't have a book, okay? I'm going to quickly run through some other examples because these are ones you can use. I don't know what sort of people we've got on calls here, but you know, if you can get a book and you can have uh, people advertise on the front of it, or you can get an industry association like he has there, gives you a lot of credibility in doing so. If you're running a franchise or if you're a real estate agent and you have other people working under you, you can create your own book. The content remains the same, but you can have your franchisors or your salespeople on the front cover as well. Um, and you can see different ones there, have their name and their picture on it. And they can distribute that in their local industry, it helps build their reputation. And in doing so, helps build their business, which builds your helps build your franchise or your real estate agency or whatever you're doing. This was a physiotherapy uh, franchise. 
And in doing it this way, he's built the business up and created far more value than he ever thought was possible. And he ended up selling it off for $125 million. But that's all come about because of the power of the book. Katrina Francois, she's an interesting one. She had a traditional bricks and um, mortar type business. So she was a, a physio, no, a naturopath operating from a business in a fixed location. She was struggling. What do you do when you struggle? Well, you've got to stand out, get noticed and build credibility. How do you do that? Through a book. So she was one of our authors and produced Clean Food, Clear Thinking. This literally changed her life, okay? Her location remains the same. She can't do anything about it, but she's now getting noticed everywhere. All these magazines started picking up her articles. They're just taking little bits out of her book and covering it there. These magazines realized that she's the expert, so they got her as the, the local writer for that particular topic. So she started writing for each of these magazines, which only increased her credibility, which means she more people want to come to her People are now traveling to come to her and she can put her prices up as a result of that. She also created back-end products. We would talk about this. One of the things we talk about is white labeling stuff. So she went to a company that produced herbal teas. She got her own brand put on them and she has it drop shipped. So literally people from all around the world are reading her book, finding out about it, going to her website, and then they order these online and these get drop shipped to them and she, she's making a percentage on all of those sales. So these are all the things that are possible. Any of you that are watching this now and trying to understand this doesn't apply to me or I could never make this work, you definitely can. You should all be doing this. It will work for any business in any industry. And if you ever need proof, Joe Munro is the classic example. Joe, we've got to write about her hobby. If you haven't got a business, write a book about your hobby. What's her hobby? Shopping. So she's come up with the Savvy Shopaholic, became a number one bestseller. And it, through all the reasons I've already explained to you, it's promoted her as the expert. She's not. I mean, how many people are expert shoppers? How many women in particular would be far better than Joe? But Joe's had over 200 television appearances as a result of that, okay? And then other people see her as the expert. And so they want to use her expertise or be associated with her. So she actually got put on the Joe Munro collection. They, they a online jewelry store created a collection just for her. All she had to do was put her face to it and she gets a percentage of all the sales that come about. So this is what I'm trying to say. You don't understand a book can provide so many opportunities that you never saw coming. I mean, there's no way that Joe saw that. And the biggest problem is the way we think about books, okay? We see them as written information that's easily disseminated. And that's it. That's where it stops. That's all a book is. It's not. If you know what you're doing, if you can do a book properly, if you can distribute a book effectively, a book does so much more. It will establish and grow your personal branding. It will establish you as the authority or expert in other people's minds and drive them to you. It gives you so much content that you can use in so many other forms of marketing. As I said, it builds that hot list, that people list of hot buyers ready to predispose to buy more stuff from you. It gives you speaking opportunities. People want the expert on their stage. As I've just shown you a very small example, massive amounts of uh, free press and media coverage, more than you can get trying to promote yourself as you currently are. Joint ventures, other people are going to approach you because they see the value of you because it's in, the book increases your value, the value of your brand. It builds confidence, not just in you, because it's a hell of an achievement actually finishing a book, even if you've just used AI to do it, but to get that physical print copy in your hand and to see the results of that, to see other people getting excited by you and what you've achieved builds confidence in yourself. But of course, it builds confidence in the clients and the customers, their confidence in you, which helps increase sales. Opens doors you never saw coming, leverages your time more than anything else I've ever come across and builds wealth. How do I know all this? Because we've helped over a thousand authors and literally published over hundreds of books, okay? This is just some of the examples that we've covered in 15 years of publishing. We've In Australia, we've produced the highest number of best-selling authors. And the way we produced well over a ton, tons of, of uh, print media. Obviously, we're doing lots of online media now, radio, television. It's been staggering. And this all comes about from the authority of having a book, all right? So I want you to think, what would it do for your business having your book on the shelves in actual bookstores here and overseas? What would it do? How would it be if you were to walk into a bookstore and saw your book on the shelf? 
how would that make you feel? Yet alone, how what would that do for your business? I can help make that happen. Okay. We have all of the systems for success, the tips, the techniques, and insider secrets, all of the industry contacts. We have the distribution arrangements. We've been doing this for over 15 years. And so what I do, there's just so much to cover and so little time to do it. We write, we run a bestseller event, right? How to write a bestseller and grow your brand. And the seats are strictly limited. That's not marketing hype. Nick has been to this. I'm sure he'll attest as soon as we let him talk. We keep very small groups. This is an actual workshop. We physically work with you. Those who don't have a business, we help them come up with a business idea like we did with Conrad Bobolak, who's now paying himself a, a million dollars a year. And those who do have a business, we help establish them as the authority, as the expert. We show them what to do, how to create a best-selling title and cover. We work on everything, the back. We get all of every, everything established for you, and including the skeleton inside. So then you only have to go and use AI and, and create the book. So we do keep the seats limited to about 20 to 25 people. Uh, we are running the event 13th to 15th of October at VOCO, which is in Brisbane CBD. We only run one or two of these a year. So this will be the last one for quite some time. Uh, it is incredible value. It's really, really worth doing. I can't speak highly enough about it but maybe I'm a bit biased. General entry tickets for all three days is $97, which for those of you attended, which is quite a few people on this call, they will tell you that's exceptional value for everything you get. And there's coffees and teas and finger foods laid on morning and afternoon each day, okay? $97, great value. We do sell a gold ticket. And that includes this incredible 130 page work booklet. And if you can see it, there's a hell, you get to take this home with you. You work on this in there. It has everything that you'll need to produce a best selling book and a, a book that will position you as the authority. $1,500 worth of bonuses. Now, this is not just some generic bloody PDF and crap that we've stuck together and, and inflated the price to tell you that that's what it is. It is genuinely worth well in excess of $1,500. If anything, we've dumbed it down so that we're under promising and over delivering. And one of those is just a 45 minute video of a guy showing you, it's actually Conrad Bobolak showing you exactly how to use the book and uh, some online tools to create this authority marketing and give you the sort of money that he's generating. It shows you step by step and how you can uh, apply that in your business, plus a whole lot of other bonuses. It does allow you to bring a friend for free. They won't get the bonuses, but they can come along and support you and, and learn from it. And that is genuinely $297. You can go online. I'll get link that Nick to put up a link shortly. And once he's done that, you can go on and you can see the prices for yourself. Look, I'm excited about this. We are already filling seats in that. So we are looking to do work with the right sort of people. We want people at this three-day event who are going to take action and actually go on and, and produce a book. So to reward the action takers, what I'm doing today, early bird special. Not $297 for a gold ticket. I'll get Nick to put the link in the, the chat now. If you go to this website, there's a whole lot of information there. Look through it. And if you purchase a general entry ticket, if you just purchase the general entry ticket for $97, we'll automatically upgrade you to the gold ticket. So $297 value just for $97. How do I know it's such good value? We've done it enough times that I can give this 100% solid, rock solid guarantee. This is a satisfaction based guarantee. I don't know anyone else that's done this. This is just, if you're not happy, you come up to me at the end of the third day and you say, Andrew, that was the, a waste of time. Or Andrew, you know, I don't think I got my, my value out of that. I will give you the $97 back. Okay. And I know I'm happy to do that because no one's ever, ever taken us up on that before. We will literally over deliver at this event. Nick, am I out of line when I say that? Absolutely. Like I went along just thinking I was just going to sit there and uh, I knew it was going to be good, but it was exceptionally good, which is why I ended up on the program. But the value that you give just in that two days, you can walk away and write a book from that alone. It was, I couldn't believe how much, you know, was actually packed into that. Yeah, well, that's the whole thing. We don't want it to be just one. I, I can't stand people when you're running those seminars and you go along and they give you just a teaser, just a trailer, enough to suck you in that you've now got to go and buy into the big package. Um, we will give you everything. We'll give you everything that you need. 
And I think Nick hit the nail on the head. I remember when he did get all excited at the time. I thought, I said to him, I thought you were just coming along to support me and to find out a bit more about it so you could spruik it to your, your people on these calls. And he said, yeah, but it was the missing key to my business. He said, I didn't understand it. It's the it's that one, you know, we've all got reached a certain plateau and we're all trying to work out how to get to the next level. What's that one missing piece? And this was it. And I think you hit the nail on the head when you said that, Nick. So, uh, look, I don't know how we're going for time, but I hope that's covered everything. Uh, yep. Has anyone got any questions about any of that? A couple of there. Uh, conscious asking, any other cities planned or just Brisbane? No, look, that's a great question. Um, no, we can't take the mountain to Muhammad. We do need the Muhammad to come to the mountain. Uh, look, we, we're very happy. Venues and travelling are very difficult. There's a lot involved in this. We used to, before COVID, we had people traveling from overseas to do this. If you have a look at our testimonials, you'll see quite a lot of uh, overseas people. Uh, people still travel interstate for 97 bucks, plus the accommodation, plus your travel. Um, in fact, I think one of the people on this call paid $2,000 to travel over from New Zealand just to come and see us last year. So uh, Deep, you're still on the call, I think he is. So look, it, no, it, it's only in Brisbane. And as I say, we do it to a small room. So the rooms uh, fill up pretty quickly and it's definitely worth traveling for. I, I can assure you of that. A couple other questions here. Do we need to reference the AI program that you use in the book? Great question. That, I've never had that before. No, you do not. No. So uh, I'm just trying to see if I can get that chat stuff up here now myself. Uh, here we go that wrong one um no that, that's a really good question no you do not have to do that because remember the beauty of using otter ai or anything like that is it's your words that's all yours there's no copyright around technically this is the interesting thing all of ai claims that there'll never be a copyright issue so that example i gave you where i said let's get a hundred of us all write in to chat ai write me a 30 page book on the 10 top marketing tips okay they're all going to be virtually identical the same they're all going to suffer, cover the same marketing points and they're all going to talk basically the same thing ai reckons it's so clever that it'll change the words up enough that across that 100 books none of them will be the same now i'm going to call bs on that i i state publicly right now that in years to come or maybe decades to come this will be contested in a court of law and the copyright issue will definitely come up and, and AI will lose. There's no two ways about it. So why I'm suggesting to you, you do the Otter AI version is that's completely your words. That's got nothing to do with anyone else. There's no copyright issue around it. And as far as the people reading your book are concerned, you wrote it. They don't need to know that AI wrote it. It's it's your words. It's It's you that they're building that trust and, integrity with so i would never mention ai in that case because people think if you wrote that you used ai even if you didn't say chat gpt people are going to look at it and say oh, chat gpt wrote this book and you've now lost all credibility the whole point of the book was to build your authority and your credibility but great question well done has uh, that answered it you happy with that a couple of other questions as well I'll try and squeeze them in because i know we've just gone over to time at the moment uh discount where's the discounted link i think uh we're signing up for the program they just sign up for the 97 right that, that's right there is no discounted link we're just uh because this is an offer we're just making here for this to reward nick's people and and uh, he's been very good to us um, and to reward action takers so simply sign up if you sign up now we'll know that you've done it and we'll automatically upgrade you to gold so when you get the email confirmation at a later stage uh, it'll automatically assure you've got the gold tickets so just sign up for the regular $97. And when you click on the link, Andrew will know because it's a special link there that uh, he'll he'll see that it's come from this webinar tonight. Correct. Yep. Uh, and another question here. Do you provide a script or help with selling the advertising slots in the book? Yes, we definitely do. Another great question. We've got we definitely have a script. So we have a couple of scripts. We have a script to get you through the gatekeeper because most of the times when you're dealing with the person you want to deal with, you've got to go through several gatekeepers. So we have a script with that. We have a script for um, how to then sell to those people. We also have a resources tool. It, it, we do charge for this next bit where you've got to, uh, 
we can produce a package for you, a very slick sales package, which you then can provide. Now, pre-COVID, that was definitely the way to go. Post-COVID, I'm finding that's not as effective as it used to be because people see it as slick and salesy. What I'm finding the most effective thing is, is just reach out and make connections. All of those sales I did for mine were literally phone calls. I didn't produce any written documentation at all. Uh, I reached out to people that I knew would be beneficial to my reader. That was the first thing I wanted to do. Always thinking about how you're providing value to your customer. So I said, what do my customers need? And I realized this is what they need. These are the best in the industry. So I contacted each of those people, just had a chat with them and told them what I was going to do. Admittedly, I did have a relationship with those sort of people. So that helped. Um, but yes, we do provide resources for that sort of thing. And another question, are the marketing tools included in the three-day? Trying to think, actually, Nick, you might be able to better answer that. I can't think what, uh, we've got a marketing weekend coming up, but that's already completely full, 19th and 20th of this month. We cover everything in that, which Nick, you'd be able to talk more about. Marketing tools. We do cover, there's there's a whole lot of things I wasn't able to cover tonight. So the things I wasn't able to cover, cover tonight were some more of the myths. I cover the myths in detail to get your mindset right around that. And we do look at other ways to sell um, and more so pre-selling. We're looking at how to sell pre-sell 500 or 1,000 or more books to begin with. So we've had many authors pre-sell 5,000, two, three to 5,000 books at a time. That may not sound like much to you, but when you consider that 98% of all books sold, sorry, 98%, yeah, 98 percent of all books sold in this country sell less than 200 copies, less than 200 copies. Uh, we've done always done more than that. So many of our authors are in the thousands of, of sales of books. So yeah, we do cover that in detail and show you how to do that. All right, just uh, one other thing. Uh, thanks, Andrew, just signed up. No, thank you, Paige. You said you've successfully registered for the workshop 24th, 25th, 26th of March. Uh, <laughs> so there you go. There, a... there you go. So yeah, it's clearly we didn't have a Nick Cree's team involved in doing the copy for that. I do apologise. So that's the last one. You know, it's not the 25th, 26th of March this year, I can assure you, and we will get that fixed. So I might have to get you onto that for me, Nick. So, yeah. All right. Uh, so it is October. So yes, you read for the right one and you'll get a notice anyway. I think Andrew about the dates and things by email anyway. Yeah. 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 But we'll have to go back and look at that. So thank you for raising that. Good on you. Excellent. All right. Well, I think that's probably all time for if you do have any other questions, then uh, yeah, definitely recommend going along to that weekend. It was, uh, it was, yeah, there's a ton of information and that's what really sort of sparked my interest. So I thought I was just going to learn a few things. Uh, I went away sort of uh, writing a book. So, um, yeah. so, but uh, we've also got a door prize for the end of today as well too. And uh, what, what's the door prize, Andrew? A gold ticket. We'll get, we'll give away one gold ticket so that a person can come and bring a friend with them. Uh, they'll get the free bonuses, the workbook, the whole bit. For, for free, $297 so for free, yeah. Get to come for free. Fantastic. All right, well, let's bring up that wheel of names. And uh, actually, what we'll do, if you stop sharing your screen, Andrew, yep. and then we can bring up the wheel of names. I'm hoping. Here we go. And so all of our names are in here. So uh, Let's spin the wheel and see who our lucky winner is tonight. So let's give us a virtual drum roll, please. And our lucky, it's probably going to be Harry, isn't it? Who's actually on the program. <laughs> it is Harry. Look at that. <laughs> we'll, we'll find something else to give Harry if you want to redraw. And is, is Harry still even on the call? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, um, of course he is. Yeah. No, yeah. Harry, I'll, I'll yeah. find something else to fix you up I'll with. My head up. I, def I definitely want to endorse what Andrew has been talking about tonight. I'm a current budding author. And, mate, this bloke over delivers. Anyone who signs up will not be disappointed. I absolutely guarantee it. And, sure, I'll throw that ticket back in the ring so someone else can have a crack at it. It's good stuff. All right, make sure you hit Thanks, Andrew Harry. up for something sort of uh, sensational. I know he's got stuff in the in his back room there. Yeah, let's, let's, it's, yeah. it, it's re it, it just opens your mind like you wouldn't believe. Thanks, Harry. All right, well, let, thanks, Harry. Let's let's draw it again. So let's hit that wheel again. Uh, I reckon Deep's probably going to win this one next time <laughs> round. <laughs> 
And we've got Ross. Ross, you are the, the lucky winner there. Are you still on the call, Ross? I know you're an author as well, too. But well worth you coming along. So there you go. So you're the lucky winner there, Ross. Well done, Ross. Good stuff. So I uh, we will connect you and Andrew up tomorrow and then I can organize those uh, tickets uh, for that as well too. I know that you being an author, uh, you're going to get a heap of value out of this uh, workshop as well too. Uh, not only for your existing books, but for uh, the next one that you write as well too. All right, well, let's put our hands together for Andrew for sharing everything he has tonight with the AI tools, with the how to be an authority in your business. Uh, having been to the program itself and in the program, I can really uh, highly endorse it as well too. Uh, but uh, yeah, I know Andrew sort of has got a busy schedule tonight, so he's put that aside for tonight. So let's uh, show our appreciation for him for uh, sharing all his uh, wisdom and knowledge tonight. Thank you so much, everyone. Thanks for having us on, Nick, and hope everyone enjoyed it. So if you want to see this again, it will be up on our YouTube channel tomorrow afternoon. So that's the Smash Go YouTube channel. The link is now in chat. If you click on it, subscribe, hit the little bell that's beside the subscribe button if you subscribe, and then you'll get a notification to let you know the video is up there and uh, ready. Just remember, if uh, if you're not a member of the Business Owners Smashing Online Facebook group, go and join that now because that's where we host a lot of the, the apps and tools and the replay of this Will also be up there as well too actually it won't be the replay it'll be the live stream that that was up there as well um and apart from that uh, we will be back here again next week same time another session with another guest uh, presenter so uh, look out for the the link to uh, book in for that in fact the link is already up there if you uh, want to book in for that as well for next week as well too but again, thanks, Andrew. Thanks, everyone, for uh, coming along tonight and uh, have a sensational evening. And I look forward to seeing some uh, books being published.